Whoa, whoa. This is your man, Nico B. And this is the Black Effect, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. You know how we do this. You know, I ain't finna play no games. I'm finna get into this quickly. You know, um, and this is, bro, I want to talk to the brothers. And it's like, black men, why do you continue to trap yourself in dating these thoughts? Why do you just, why do black men love to, to, to get the low-hanging fruit of women, you know, these emotionally damaged women, these fake makeup beat women, these women who everybody them ran through, you know, these strippers who who pretty much showing their goods to everybody who want to see on Instagram and everywhere else. Why do black men love these type of women? You know, now I get, bro, you know what I'm saying, that you may want to have some, you know, if you want to have some sex with them, whatever, you know, more power to you. But why would you be not be responsible and knock these chicks up? And the thing is, is, bro, you know, nothing is 100%. And at the same time, you know, nigga, just the frequency that y'all niggas do this, y'all do this all the time. Y'all not looking for no dime piece, badass, jazzy ass, you know what I'm saying, uh, real feminine, you know what I'm saying, no gem of a woman. Y'all not looking for that, man. Y'all looking for the thoughts. So when y'all niggas getting burned and hung and, and roasted over the spit and, you know, and motherfuckers is taking y'all to the cleaners for y'all bread, I don't feel sorry for y'all niggas, man. Because y'all like them thoughts, fam. You feel me? You know, and this is, you know, and hey, black man, don't don't trip like a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, um, this is not something that every man has dealt with. Every race of men deals with this. This is, you know, and, and, you know, I've dealt with this. No man is better than another, but you have to be disciplined, man. You have to, you know, you actually think sometime and stop thinking with your little head all the time. Be more disciplined and get control over your sexual urges. Like, you, you niggas is too sexually charged. That's why, you know, some of you niggas is out here getting catfished by trannies. Because y'all are too sexually charged, nigga. And that's why I say, why do y'all fuck with these thoughts? These thoughts putting on all this makeup. You know what I'm saying? Got this fake titties, fake asses. I ain't even into all that fake shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Fake weed, fake all that shit. They looking like fucking drag queens out here. But you niggas love them, though. Y'all suspect. Y'all, y'all, like I said, nigga, suspect. Nah, I, I, let me tell you that, baby. Any, anything you do with a woman is ain't nothing suspect about that. But I'm just saying, it, it's kind of funny how you know that even women today, you black women today, is following behind these trannies and drag queens and beating you. Because that's where y'all get all this makeup. That's where that shit come from. The sorcery, they even own the companies. That sorcery, that shit comes from them because they want to fool niggas. You know what I'm saying? But see, now you women is doing... Man, ain't nothing nothing better to me than a natural woman, bro. Her natural look now, to me, like, as I'm seeing it, I appreciate it more. Don't get me wrong. I was one of them niggas back in the day, you know what I'm saying, who was serving the devil. Yeah, you know, had a lot of women, you know, who would do a lot of things. Black women, who, you know, who I met. That's why I harp on this, because I've met black women and, and dated them and dealt with them and had black women curl for a nigga, you know what I'm saying? To, toward the point where, you know, I've, I've loved them, you know what I'm saying? They, I know they love me, but I definitely did them, you know, did the game wrong, you know what I'm saying, in the fashion of just not knowing no better. I grew up in a, in a time, you know what I'm saying, where black niggas, you know, the only thing they had in that wait and text hell era, where every, you know, the only thing they had was this player mentality, you know, and when you grew up in a, in a time not having much, or in an environment where you don't have much, you tend to try to find worth out of just small or trivial bullshit. And a lot of men found it out of macking women or being a mac. Or, you know, that's why I say I never had no problem getting women, man. <laughs> that's nothing. I mean, you just have to know, you know, know that what you learn now is the, the true nature of females, you know. But, yeah, but black men, you know, you act like a lot of you niggas is just being simps today. Y'all being simps. Y'all getting controlled by these women. A lot. That's why a lot of these black women out here, you know, and in in the ghetto or or the inner city, and for the majority, the majority, the ninety seven percent of black women, they go out, you know, and try to look for you type of niggas. They don't want no real man because they right now know they can go get one of you simp ass niggas and handle the fuck out of y'all and get nothing but what they want. You know, and then leave y'all in the lurch. They never cared about y'all. They don't, they don't have no love for you. They don't give a fuck about you, man. You know what I'm saying? 
you out here, you know, talking about, oh, man, I got, you know, I got a bad one on the team, and, you know, I got a couple, you got a couple of them, huh? You got a couple of her, but they, fin- you know, the finesse meet the finesse nigga. While you think you doing the game, they finessing your ass, too. You feel me? That's how it work. You know, so at the end of the day, you niggas really need to, you know, get on your purpose and stop running behind these chicks and, and the big booty. That's why our women are out of pocket, because you niggas are out of pocket. Y'all are simps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had to learn that. A lot of black men are simps. I didn't know that. You know, white men don't simp as hard as y'all motherfuckers. No. You don't see them niggas just being somewhere and, and see just see a chick, she don't even have, she be a six with a fat ass talking about some holla, 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 oh baby, let me drink your bath for it, oh baby, I'll spend this, I'll spend this, I'll spend What the fuck you talking about, boy? Man, was man, what you talking about? You spending this, spending that. Why, man? What she do for you? In the Bible times, this is why I follow the most high, man. Because look at what the Bible has shown you. In the times, you know, of uh, Abraham and in biblical times, when a man, you know, when uh, God was sending men out to find them a wife, he was sending them out and making, you know, and what he told them was let the woman come to you. And when she let her show her virtue to you, her usefulness to you, let her do something for you. You know, that's my motto. If you know, if I'm not just going out cold turkey hollering at women, you got to let me know that first of all, you know, it's some interest there. And what will you, will you, what, what <laughs> I can't even get it out because it's the, you know, this is a gem, my name. I'm, I'm just really giving the gem a life. Like, this is in the Bible. God has told us this. Let, bro, try this, bro. Let a woman come to you and do something for you. I bet you won't. That's not going to be 97% of the black women out here. Okay. Or not. That's not going to even be 97% of the women out here. But just let her, the one who comes to you and does something for you to make you feel good, to better your life, to show some type of care or empathy for you. That woman you can get to go to the, you can go to the ends of the earth with, man. You know, she'll do whatever you need her to do. I'm just telling you, bro. But y'all niggas like them thoughts, though. You know, y'all like the ratchet thoughts. You know, y'all like the ratchetest of the ratchet hoe. You feel me? Y'all got some, when you be seeing niggas, every nigga I talk to, you know, and when I'm at work, they have women, you know, wives and why even Hispanic men, you know, they have women and wives at the house. You know, but yet and still, they still fucking just holla, holla, holla at every woman who pass by or give them the time of day. Y'all niggas look pitiful. I can't stand being around them type of dudes, them type of fucking simps. Because it's just like, bro, if you was to put half the energy into your woman, that's your woman, fool. If you was to put half the energy into her. That you do into all of these strange women who don't want to give you the time of day, whom you annoy, whom only, you know, use that attention for their benefit. If you just put half that attention into your woman, man, this world would not, not only will your life be 10 times better, you know, she'll probably fuck you more, give you, you know, give you the best head. Probably, you know, she'll, up, she'll start gaining weight. she will be upgrade in a good way. She'll upgrade herself. She'll feel good about, you know, she'll actually feel, you know, feel good about you coming to the house. And you be wondering why you had these problems and you got to drink. You got to drink yourself stupid every time you get around this chick or you got to be high. If you got to be under the influence when you are dating somebody or every time you come around them or every, you know, when you see them, you need to cut them off. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's like you got to be drunk. You know, you can't be yourself around them people. Nah, I mean, you got to cut those people off. Ain't no reason you got to be popping pills and, and and being under the influence just to go, you know what I'm saying, to come in your crib and be around your woman. I know many niggas like that. You know, they addicted to, you know, Hispanic. a lot of Hispanic dudes is like that. You know, they be drinking like a bitch, you know, drinking they self crazy just to go in there and deal with their woman or deal with their family. That's why a lot of Hispanic women is getting separated now. You know what I'm saying? Or a lot of Hispanic women get have been getting abused, and they they be cheating on their husband. You know, nowadays, bro, 
you know, it, it's a lot of things going on, man. You know, we talking about the, you talking about the dating different races and all this, man. Black niggas need to just stop dating these thoughts and chasing after these thoughts. It don't matter in what culture. Black men love them some hoes. Arab men too. You know what I'm saying? If I look at my my brother who do videos, you know, with the MGTOW, he be talking about Arab men. You know, listen to other men in other countries, and they'll tell you it's men over there, black men, and men of color who be simping over there too. One thing I tip my hat to the white man, you know, and and hey, 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 my Caucasian brother, you can get my props for this. Thank you. For